Prague, Czech, Praha, Prague, listen, German, Prague is the capital and largest city in the Czech Republic, the 14th largest city in the European Union and the historical capital of Bohemia. Situated in the northwest of the country on the Vltava River, the city is home to about 1.3 million people, while its metropolitan area is estimated to have a population of 2.6 million. The city has a temperate climate, with warm summers and chilly winters. Prague has been a political, cultural and economic centre of Central Europe complete with a rich history. Founded during the Romanesque and flourishing by the Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque eras, Prague was the capital of the Kingdom of Bohemia and the main residence of several Holy Roman Emperors, most notably of Charles IV r. It was an important city to the Habsburg monarchy and its Austro-Hungarian Empire. The city played major roles in the Bohemian and Protestant Reformation, the Thirty Years' War, and in 20th century history as the capital of Czechoslovakia. During both World Wars and the post war communist era, Prague is home to a number of famous cultural attractions, many of which survived the violence and destruction of 20th century Europe. Main attractions include Prague Castle, Charles Bridge, Old Town Square with the Prague Astronomical Clock, the Jewish Quarter, Petron Hill, and Vysehrad. Since 1992, the extensive historic centre of Prague has been included in the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites. The city has more than ten major museums, along with numerous theatres, galleries, cinemas and other historical exhibits. An extensive modern public transportation system connects the city. Also, it is home to a wide range of public and private schools, including Charles University in Prague, the oldest university in Central Europe. Prague is classified as a Alpha minus global city according to GAWC studies and ranked sixth in the TripAdvisor World List of Best Destinations in 2016. Its rich history makes it a popular tourist destination, and as of 2017, the city receives more than 8.5 million international visitors annually. Prague is the fifth most visited European city after London, Paris, Istanbul, and Rome. History During the thousand years of its existence, the city grew from a settlement stretching from Prague Castle in the north to the fort of Vysehrad in the south, becoming the capital of a modern European country, the Czech Republic, a member state of the European Union. Early history The region was settled as early as the Paleolithic Age. A Jewish chronicler David Solomon Gans, citing Syriacus Spangenberg, claimed that the city was founded as Boiham in c. 1306 BC by an ancient king, Boya. Around the 5th and 4th century BC, a Celts tribe appeared in the area, later establishing settlements including an oppidum in Zavist, a present day suburb of Prague, and naming the region of Bohemia, which means, home of the Boy people. In the last century BC, the Celts were slowly driven away by Germanic tribes Marcomanni, Quadi, Lombards and possibly the Subi, leading some to place the seat of the Marcomanni king, Marobidus, in southern Prague in the suburb now called Zavist. Around the area where present-day Prague stands, the second-century map drawn by Ptolemaeus mentioned a Germanic city called Kajurgis. In the late 5th century AD, during the Great Migration period following the collapse of the Western Roman Empire, the Germanic tribes living in Bohemia moved westwards and, probably in the 6th century, the Slavic tribes Venedy settled the central Bohemian region. In the following three centuries, the Czech tribes built several fortified settlements in the area, most notably in the Sharka Valley, Budavice, and Levi Haradets. The construction of what came to be known as Prague Castle began near the end of the 9th century, growing a fortified settlement that already existed on the site since the year 800. The first masonry under Prague Castle dates from the year 885 at the latest. The other prominent Prague fort, the Premislid Fort Vysehrad, was founded in the 10th century, some 70 years later than Prague Castle. Prague Castle is dominated by the cathedral, which began construction in 1344, but wasn't completed until the 20th century. The legendary origins of Prague attribute its foundation to the 8th century Czech duchess and prophetess Libius and her husband, Premisel, founder of the Premislid dynasty. Legend says that Libius came out on a rocky cliff high above the Vltava and prophesied, "'I see a great city whose glory will touch the stars'". 
She ordered a castle and a town called Praha to be built on the site. The region became the seat of the dukes, and later kings of Bohemia. Under Holy Roman Emperor Otto II, the area became a bishopric in 973. Until Prague was elevated to archbishopric in 1344, it was under the jurisdiction of the Archbishopric of Mainz. Prague was an important seat for trading where merchants from all of Europe settled, including many Jews, as recalled in 965 by the Hispano Jewish merchant and traveller Ibrahim ibn Jacob. The old new synagogue of 1270 still stands in the city. Prague was also once home to an important slave market. At the site of the ford in the Vltava River, King Vladislaus I had the first bridge built in 1170, the Judith Bridge, Most, named in honor of his wife Judith of Thuringia. This bridge was destroyed by a flood in 1342, but some of the original foundation stones of that bridge remain in the river. It was rebuilt and named the Charles Bridge in 1257 under King Ottokar II, Malostrana, Lesser Quarter was founded in Prague on the site of an older village in what would become the Haradkani Prague Castle area. This was the district of the German people, who had the right to administer the law autonomously, pursuant to Magdeburg rights. The new district was on the bank opposite of the Stare Mesto old town", which had borough status and was bordered by a line of walls and fortifications. The era of Charles IV Prague flourished during the 14th century reign of Charles IV, Holy Roman Emperor and the King of Bohemia of the new Luxembourg dynasty. As King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, he transformed Prague into an imperial capital and it was at that time by the area the third largest city in Europe after Rome and Constantinople. He ordered the building of the new town adjacent to the old town and laid out the design himself. The Charles Bridge, replacing the Judith Bridge destroyed in the flood just prior to his reign, was erected to connect the East Bank districts to the Mala Strana and Castle area. On 9 July 1357 at 5.31 am, Charles IV personally laid the first foundation stone for the Charles Bridge. The exact time of laying the first foundation stone is known because the palindromic number 135,797,531 was carved into the Old Town Bridge Tower having been chosen by the royal astrologists and numerologists as the best time for starting the bridge construction. In 1347, he founded Charles University, which remains the oldest university in Central Europe. He began construction of the Gothic St. Vitus Cathedral, within the largest of the Prague Castle courtyards, on the site of the Romanesque rotunda there. Prague was elevated to an archbishopric in 1344, the year the cathedral was begun. The city had a mint and was a centre of trade for German and Italian bankers and merchants. The social order, however, became more turbulent due to the rising power of the craftsmen's guilds themselves often torn by internal fights, and the increasing number of poor people. The Hunger Wall, a substantial fortification wall south of Mala Strana and the castle area, was built during a famine in the 1360s. The work is reputed to have been ordered by Charles IV as a means of providing employment and food to the workers and their families. Charles IV died in 1378. During the reign of his son, King Wenceslaus IV a period of intense turmoil ensued. During Easter 1389, members of the Prague clergy announced that Jews had desecrated the host Eucharistic wafer and the clergy encouraged mobs to pillage, ransack and burn the Jewish quarter. Nearly the entire Jewish population of Prague 3, people perished. Jan Hus, a theologian and rector at the Charles University, preached in Prague. In 1402, he began giving sermons in the Bethlehem Chapel. Inspired by John Wycliffe, these sermons focused on what were seen as radical reforms of a corrupt church. Having become too dangerous for the political and religious establishment, Huss was summoned to the Council of Constance, put on trial for heresy, and burned at the stake in Constance in 1415. Four years later Prague experienced its first defenestration, when the people rebelled under the command of the Prague priest Jan Zelewski. Hus' death, coupled with Czech proto-nationalism and proto-Protestantism, had spurred the Hussite wars. Peasant rebels, led by the general Jan Zizka, along with Hussite troops from Prague, defeated Emperor Sigismund, in the Battle of Vitkov Hill in 1420. During the Hussite wars when the city of Prague was attacked by «crusader» 
and mercenary forces, the city militia fought bravely under the Prague banner. This swallow-tailed banner is approximately 4 by 6 feet (1.2 by 1.8 meters), with a red field sprinkled with small white fleur-de-lis, and a silver old town coat of arms in the center. The words "Pan Bu Pomak Nais" (The Lord is our relief) appeared above the coat of arms, with a Hussite chalice centered on the top. Near the swallow tails is a crescent-shaped golden sun with rays protruding. One of these banners was captured by Swedish troops in Battle of Prague 1648, when they captured the western bank of the Vltava River and were repulsed from the eastern bank, they placed it in the Royal Military Museum in Stockholm, although this flag still exists, it is in very poor condition. They also took the Codex Gigas and the Codex Argentius. The earliest evidence indicates that a gonfalon with a municipal charge painted on it was used for Old Town as early as 1419. Since this city militia flag was in use before 1477 and during the Hussite Wars, it is the oldest still preserved municipal flag of Bohemia. In the following two centuries, Prague strengthened its role as a merchant city. Many noteworthy Gothic buildings were erected and Vladislav Hall of the Prague Castle was added. Habsburg era In 1526, the Bohemian estates elected Ferdinand I of the House of Habsburg. The fervent Catholicism of its members was to bring them into conflict in Bohemia, and then in Prague, where Protestant ideas were gaining popularity. These problems were not preeminent under Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II, elected King of Bohemia in 1576, who chose Prague as his home. He lived in the Prague Castle, where his court welcomed not only astrologers and magicians but also scientists, musicians, and artists. Rudolf was an art lover too, and Prague became the capital of European culture. This was a prosperous period for the city. Famous people living there in that age include the astronomers Tycho Brahe and Johannes Kepler, the painter Ercomboldo, the alchemists Edward Kelly and John Dee, the poet Elizabeth Jane Weston, and others. In 1618, the famous Second Defenestration of Prague provoked the Thirty Years' War, a particularly harsh period for Prague and Bohemia. Ferdinand II of Habsburg was deposed, and his place as King of Bohemia taken by Frederick V, Elector Palatine, however his army was crushed in the Battle of White Mountain 1620, not far from the city. Following this in 1621 was an execution of 27 Czech Protestant leaders involved in the uprising in Old Town Square and the exiling of many others. Prague was forcibly converted back to Roman Catholicism followed by the rest of Czech lands. The city suffered subsequently during the war under an attack by Electoral Saxony 1631 and during the Battle of Prague 1648. Prague began a steady decline which reduced the population from the 60,000 it had had in the years before the war to 20,000. In the second half of the 17th century Prague's population began to grow again. Jews had been in Prague since the end of the 10th century and, by 1708, they accounted for about a quarter of Prague's population. In 1689, a great fire devastated Prague, but this spurred a renovation and a rebuilding of the city. In 1713–14, a major outbreak of plague hit Prague one last time, killing 12,000 to 13,000 people. In 1744, Frederick the Great of Prussia invaded Bohemia. He took Prague after a severe and prolonged siege, in the course of which a large part of the town was destroyed. In 1757, the Prussian bombardment destroyed more than one quarter of the city and heavily damaged St. Vitus Cathedral. However a month later, Frederick the Great was defeated and forced to retreat from Bohemia. The economy of the city continued to improve during the 18th century. The population increased to 80,000 inhabitants by 1771. Many rich merchants and nobles enhanced the city with a host of palaces, churches and gardens full of art and music, creating a Baroque city renowned throughout the world to this day. In 1784, under Joseph II, the four municipalities of Malastrana, Nove Mesto, Stare Mesto, and Haradkani were merged into a single entity. The Jewish district, called Josephov, was included only in 1850. The Industrial Revolution had a strong effect in Prague, as factories could take advantage of the coal mines and ironworks of the nearby region. A first suburb, Carlin, was created in 1817, and 20 years later the population exceeded 100,000. 
The revolutions in Europe in 1848 also touched Prague, but they were fiercely suppressed. In the following years the Czech National Revival began its rise, until it gained the majority in the town council in 1861. Prague had a German-speaking majority in 1848, but by 1880 the number of German speakers had decreased to 14% 42,000, and by 1910 to 6.7% 6. due to a massive increase of the city's overall population caused by the influx of Czechs from the rest of Bohemia and Moravia and also due to return of social status importance of the Czech language. Topic. 20th century Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> First Czechoslovak Republic World War 1 ended with the defeat of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the creation of Czechoslovakia Prague was chosen as its capital and Prague Castle as the seat of President Tomáš Garrigue Masaryk at this time Prague was a true European capital with highly developed industry. By 1930, the population had risen to 850,000. <inaudible> Second World War Hitler ordered the German army to enter Prague on 15 March 1939, and from Prague Castle proclaimed Bohemia and Moravia a German protectorate. For most of its history, Prague had been a multi-ethnic city with important Czech, German and mostly native German -speaking Jewish populations. From 1939, when the country was occupied by Nazi Germany, and during the Second World War, most Jews were deported and killed by the Germans. In 1942, Prague was witness to the assassination of one of the most powerful men in Nazi Germany—Reinhard Heydrich, during Operation Anthropoid, accomplished by Czechoslovak national heroes Jozef Gapčík and Jan Kubis. Hitler ordered bloody reprisals. In February 1945, Prague suffered several bombing raids by the U.S. Army Air Forces. 701 people were killed, more than 1,000 people were injured and some buildings, factories and historical landmarks Emmaus Monastery, Faust House, Vinorady Synagogue were destroyed. Many historic structures in Prague, however, escaped the destruction of the war and the damage was small compared to the total destruction of many other cities in that time. According to American pilots, it was the result of a navigational mistake. In March, a deliberate raid targeted military factories in Prague, killing about 370 people. On the 5th of May 1945, 2 days before Germany capitulated, an uprising against Germany occurred. Several thousand Czechs were killed in four days of bloody street fighting, with many atrocities committed by both sides. At daybreak on 9 May, the Third Shock Army of the Red Army took the city almost unopposed. The majority about 50, people of the German population of Prague either fled or were expelled by the Benes decrees in the aftermath of the war. Cold War. Prague was a city in the territory of military and political control of the Soviet Union see Iron Curtain. The largest Stalin monument was unveiled on Letna Hill in 1955 and destroyed in 1962. The Fourth Czechoslovak Writers' Congress held in the city in June 1967 took a strong position against the regime. On 31 October 1967 students demonstrated at Strahov. This spurred the new secretary of the Communist Party, Alexander Dubček, to proclaim a new deal in his city's and country's life, starting the short-lived season of the "...socialism with a human face". It was the Prague Spring, which aimed at the renovation of institutions in a democratic way. The other Warsaw Pact member countries, except Romania and Albania, reacted with the invasion of Czechoslovakia and the capital on 21 August 1968 by tanks, suppressing any attempt at reform. Jan Palach and Jan Zajic committed suicide by self-immolation in January and February 1969 to protest against the «normalization» of the country. <laughs> After Velvet Revolution In 1989, after the riot police beat back a peaceful student demonstration, the Velvet Revolution crowded the streets of Prague, and the Czechoslovak capital benefited greatly from the new mood. 
In 1993, after the split of Czechoslovakia, Prague became the capital city of the new Czech Republic. From 1995 high-rise buildings began to be built in Prague in large quantities. In the late 1990s, Prague again became an important cultural centre of Europe and was notably influenced by globalisation. In 2000, IMF and World Bank Summit took place in Prague and anti-globalisation riots took place here. In 2002, Prague suffered from widespread floods that damaged buildings and its underground transport system. Prague launched a bid for the 2016 Summer Olympics, but failed to make the candidate city shortlist. In June 2009, as the result of financial pressures from the global recession, Prague's officials also chose to cancel the city's planned bid for the 2020 Summer Olympics. Name. The Czech name Praha is derived from an old Slavic word, pra, which means ford or rapid, referring to the city's origin at a crossing point of the Vltava River. The same etymology is associated with the Praga district of Warsaw. Another view to the origin of name is also related to the Czech word pra in the mean of a threshold, and a legendary etymology connects the name of the city with Princess Libius, prophetess and a wife of mythical founder of the Premyslid dynasty. She is said to have ordered the city, "...to be built where a man hews a threshold of his house". The Czech pra might thus be understood to refer to rapids or fords in the river, the edge of which could have acted as a means of fording the river, thus providing a "...threshold", to the castle. Another derivation of the name Praha is suggested from Na Praze, the original term for the shale hillside rock upon which the original castle was built. At that time, the castle was surrounded by forests, covering the nine hills of the future city, the old town on the opposite side of the river, as well as the lesser town beneath the existing castle, appeared only later. The English spelling of the city's name is borrowed from French. Prague is also called the City of a Hundred Spires. Based on a count by 19th century mathematician Bernard Balzano, today's count is estimated by Prague Information Service at 500. Nicknames for Prague have also included, the Golden City, the Mother of Cities and the Heart of Europe. Geography Prague is situated on the Vltava River, at 50 degrees 05 n and 14 degrees 27 e, in the centre of the Bohemian Basin. Prague is approximately at the same latitude as Frankfurt, Germany, Paris, France, and Vancouver, Canada. Topic: <inaudible> Climate. Prague has a humid continental climate, Köppen climate classification Dfb. The winters are relatively cold with average temperatures at about freezing point and with very little sunshine. Snow cover can be common between mid-November and late March although snow accumulations of more than 20 cm are infrequent. There are also a few periods of mild temperatures in winter. Summers usually bring plenty of sunshine and the average high temperature of 24 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. Nights can be quite cool even in summer, though. Precipitation in Prague and most of the Bohemian lowland is rather low, just over 500 mm (20 in) per year, since it is located in the rain shadow of the Sudetes and other mountain ranges. The driest season is usually winter, while late spring and summer can bring quite heavy rain, especially in form of thunder showers. Temperature inversions are relatively common between mid-October and mid-March, bringing foggy, cold days and sometimes moderate air pollution. Prague is also a windy city with common sustained western winds and an average wind speed of 16 km per hour 9.9 miles per hour that often help break temperature inversions and clear the air in cold months. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Administration. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Administrative Division. Prague is the capital of the Czech Republic and as such is the regular seat of its central authorities. Since November 24, 1990, it is de facto again a statutory town, but has a specific status of the municipality and the region at the same time. Prague also houses the administrative institutions of the central Bohemia region. 
Until 1949, all administrative districts of Prague were formed by the whole one or more cadastral unit, municipality or town. Since 1949, there has been a fundamental change in the administrative division. Since then, the boundaries of many urban districts, administrative districts and city districts are independent of the boundaries of cadastral territories and some cadastral territories are thus divided into administrative and self-governing parts of the city. Cadastral area for example, Vinorady, Smichov, are still relevant especially for the registration of land and real estate and house numbering. Prague is composed of 112 cadastral territories of different size, character and importance. The city also consists of 22 administrative districts 1 to 22. Topic: <laughs> City government. Prague is governed by the Prague City Assembly that is elected in municipal elections. Current mayor of Prague is Czech Pirate Party member Zdeněk Rib since the 2018 municipal election. Topic: <inaudible> Population. According to the 2011 census, about 14% of the city inhabitants were foreigners, the highest proportion in the country. Even though official population of Prague hovers around 1.3 to 1.4 million, the real population is much higher due to only 65% of its residents are marked as permanently living in the city. These data were taken from mobile phone movements around the city and bring total population of Prague to about 1.9 to 2 million, and with additional 300,000,000 people coming to the city for work, education, or shopping on weekdays, there are more than 2 million people in the city. Development of the Prague population since 1378. Topic: Culture. The city is traditionally one of the cultural centers of Europe, hosting many cultural events. Some of the significant cultural institutions include the National Theater Narodny Divadlo and the Estates Theater Stavovské or Tylovo or Nastikovo Divadlo, where the premieres of Mozart's Don Giovanni and La Clemenza di Tito were held. Other major cultural institutions are the Rudolfinium which is home to the Czech Philharmonic Orchestra and the Municipal House which is home to the Prague Symphony Orchestra. The Prague State Opera, Stotny Opera performs at the Smetana Theater. The city has many world-class museums, including the National Museum Museum, the Museum of the Capital City of Prague, the Jewish Museum in Prague, the Alphonse Mucha Museum, the African Prague Museum, the Museum of Decorative Arts in Prague, the Naperstek Museum Museum, the Joseph Sudik Gallery and the Joseph Sudik Studio, the National Library and the National Gallery, which manages the largest collection of art in the Czech Republic. There are hundreds of concert halls, galleries, cinemas and music clubs in the city. It hosts music festivals including the Prague Spring International Music Festival, the Prague Autumn International Music Festival, the Prague International Organ Festival and the Prague International Jazz Festival. Film festivals include the Fest, the One World Film Festival and Echoes of the Karlovy Vary International Film Festival. The city also hosts the Prague Writers' Festival, the Prague Folklore Days, Prague Advent Choral Meeting the Summer Shakespeare Festival, the Prague Fringe Festival, the World Roma Festival, as well as the hundreds of vernissages and fashion shows. Many films have been made at Berendov Studios and at Prague Studios. Hollywood films set in Prague include Mission Impossible, XXX, Blade II, Alien vs. Predator, Doom, Chronicles of Narnia, Hellboy, Red Tails, Children of Dune and Van Helsing. Other Czech films shot in Prague include Empties, Eurotrip, Amadeus and The Fifth Horseman is Fear. Also, the romantic music video, ''Never Tear Us Apart'' by In Excess, ''Diamonds from Sierra Leone'' by Kanye West was shot in the city, and features shots of the Charles Bridge and the Astronomical Clock, among other famous landmarks. Rihanna's, ''Don't Stop the Music'' video was filmed at Prague's Radost FX Club. The city was also the setting for the film Dungeons & Dragons in 2000. The music video, ''Silver and Cold'' by AFI, an American rock band, was also filmed in Prague. Many Indian films have also been filmed in the city including Yuvraj, Drona and Rockstar. Early 2000s Europop hit, ''Something'' by ''Lasgo'' was filmed at the Central Train Station in Prague. 
Video games set in Prague include Tomb Raider, The Angel of Darkness, Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb, Vampire, The Masquerade, Redemption, Soldier of Fortune 2, Double Helix, Broken Sword, The Sleeping Dragon, Still Life, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3 and Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. With the growth of low-cost airlines in Europe, Prague has become a popular weekend city destination allowing tourists to visit its many museums and cultural sites as well as try its famous Czech beers and hearty cuisine. The city has many buildings by renowned architects, including Adolf Luz Villa Muller, Frank O. Gehry Dancing House, and Jean Nouvelle Golden Angel. Recent major events held in Prague Cuisine In 2008 the Allegro restaurant received the first Michelin star in the whole of the post-communist part of Central Europe. It retained its star until 2011. As of 2018 there are two Michelin-starred restaurants in Prague, La Degustation Bohème Bourgeoise and Field. Another six have been awarded Michelin's Bib Gourmand, Bistro 104, Davinis, Esca, Maso Akoblaha, Na Kopchi and Sancho. In Malastrana, Stare Mesto, Zizkov and Nussel there are hundreds of restaurants, bars and pubs, especially with Czech beer. Prague also hosts the Czech Beer Festival, Seski Pivny Festival which is the largest beer festival in the Czech Republic, held for 17 days every year in May. At the festival, more than 70 brands of Czech beer can be tasted. There are several microbrewery festivals throughout the year as well. Czech beer has a long history, with brewing taking place in Brevnov Monastery in 993. Prague is home to historical breweries Staropramen, Praha 5, U Fleku, U Medvidku, U Tri Ruzi, Strahov Monastery Brewery, Praha 1, and Brevnov Monastery Brewery, Praha 6. Among many microbreweries are Novomistsky, Prosky Most, U Valsu, Narodny, Borsiv, Lod Pivovar, U Dobrenskic, U Dvou Kochik, U Supa, Praha 1, Pivovarsky Dum, Praha 2, Susedsky Pivovar Basta, Praha 4, Suchdolsky Genik, Libaki Pivovar, Praha 6, Marina, Praha 7, U Bulovki, Praha 8, Beznoska, Kolkavka, Praha 9, Vinoradsky Pivovar, Zubati Pays, Malasiki Micropivovar, Praha 10, Jihomsti. Ski Pivovar, Praha 11, Luzini, Praha 13, Posarniki Pivovar, Praha 14, and Hostivar, Praha 15. Topic: Economy. Prague's economy accounts for 25% of the Czech GDP, making it the highest performing regional economy of the country. As of 2016 its GDP per capita in purchasing power standard is €53,100, making it the seventh best performing region in the EU. Prague ranked the sixth best performing European Nuts 2 level region at 182, 4% of the EU 28 average in 2016. Prague employs almost a fifth of the entire Czech workforce, and its wages are significantly above average tilde plus 25%. In December 2015, average salaries available in Prague reached 35,853 Czech korunas, an annual increase of 3.4%, which was nevertheless lower than national increase of 3.9% both in nominal and real terms. Inflation in Prague was 0.5% in December, compared with 0.1% nationally. Since 1990, the city's economic structure has shifted from industrial to service oriented. Industry is present in sectors such as pharmaceuticals, printing, food processing, manufacture of transport equipment, computer technology and electrical engineering. In the service sector, financial and commercial services, trade, restaurants, hospitality and public administration are the most significant. Services account for around 80% of employment. There are 800,000 employees in Prague, including 120,000 commuters. The number of legally registered foreign residents in Prague has been increasing in spite of the country's economic downturn. As of March 2010, 148,035 foreign workers were reported to be living in the city making up about 18% of the workforce, up from 131,132 in 2008. Approximately one-fifth of all investment in the Czech Republic takes place in the city. Almost one half of the national income from tourism is spent in Prague. 
The city offers approximately 73,000 beds in accommodation facilities, most of which were built after 1990, including almost 51,000 beds in hotels and boarding houses. From the late 1990s to late 2000s, the city was a popular filming location for international productions such as Hollywood and Bollywood motion pictures. A combination of architecture, low costs and the existing motion picture infrastructure have proven attractive to international film production companies. The modern economy of Prague is largely service and export based and, in a 2010 survey, the city was named the best city in Central and Eastern Europe for business. In 2005, Prague was deemed among the three best cities in Central and Eastern Europe according to the Economist's livability rankings. The city was named as a top-tier nexus city for innovation across multiple sectors of the global innovation economy, placing 29th globally out of 289 cities, ahead of Brussels and Helsinki for innovation in 2010 in two ThinkNow Annual Analysts Innovation Cities Index, Na Prekop is the most expensive street among the all states of the V4. In 2017, with the amount of rent €2,640 per square metre per year, ranked on 22nd place among the most expensive streets in the world. The second most expansive is Parishka Street. In the Eurostat research, Prague ranked fifth among Europe's 271 regions in terms of gross domestic product per inhabitant, achieving 172% of the EU average. It ranked just above Paris and well above the country as a whole, which achieved 80% of the EU average. Companies with highest turnover in the region in 2014. Prague is also the site of some of the most important offices and institutions of the Czech Republic. President of the Czech Republic, the government and both houses of parliament, ministries and other national offices, industrial property office, Czech statistical office, national security authority, etc. Czech National Bank Czech Television and other major broadcasters Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty Galileo Global Navigation Project Academy of Sciences of the Czech Republic Tourism Important destination Since the fall of the Iron Curtain, Prague has become one of the world's most popular tourist destinations. Prague suffered considerably less damage during World War II than some other major cities in the region, allowing most of its historic architecture to stay true to form. It contains one of the world's most pristine and varied collections of architecture, from Romanesque, to Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque, Rococo, Neo-Renaissance, Neo-Gothic, Art Nouveau, Cubist, Neoclassical and Ultra-Modern. Prague is classified as an Beta Plus global city according to GAWC studies, comparable to Vienna, Seoul, and Washington, D.C. Prague ranked sixth in the TripAdvisor World List of Best Destinations in 2016. Its rich history makes it a popular tourist destination, and the city receives more than 8.4 million international visitors annually, as of 2017. Prague is the fifth most visited European city after London, Paris, Istanbul, and Rome. Prague's low cost of living makes it a popular destination for expats relocating to Europe. Topic: <laughs> Main attractions. Topic: <laughs> Haradkani and Lesser Town, Malastrana. Topic: Old Town and Josephov <laughs> New Town <laughs> Vinorady and Zizkov <laughs> Other places Education Nine public universities and 36 private universities are located in the city, including 
Topic: Public Universities. Topic: Public Arts Academies. Topic: Some private colleges. Topic: International institutions. Topic: Science, research, and high tech centers. The region city of Prague is an important center of research. It is the seat of 39 out of 54 institutes of the Czech Academy of Sciences, including the largest ones, the Institute of Physics, the Institute of Microbiology and the Institute of Organic Chemistry and Biochemistry. It is also a seat of 10 public research institutes, 4 business incubators and large hospitals performing research and development activities such as the Institute for Clinical and Experimental Medicine in Prague or the Modal University Hospital. Universities seated in Prague see section colleges and universities also represent important centers of science and research activities. As of 2008, there were 13,000 researchers out of 30,000 in the Czech Republic, counted in full-time equivalent, representing 3% share of Prague's economically active population. Gross expenditure on research and development accounted for 901.3 million euros, 41.5% of country's total. Some well-known multinational companies have established research and development facilities in Prague, among them Siemens, Honeywell, and Sun Microsystems. Prague was selected to host administration of the EU satellite navigation system Galileo. It started to provide its first services in December 2016, and full completion is expected by 2020. Transport Public transportation The public transport infrastructure PID, Praška consists of a heavily used Prague integrated transport of Prague Metro lines A, B, and C, its length is 65 km 40 miles with 61 stations in total, Prague tram system, Prague buses, commuter S trains, funiculars, and six ferries. Prague has one of the highest rates of public transport usage in the world, with 1.2 billion passenger journeys per year. Prague has about 130 bus lines, numbers 100 to 299, and 22 tram lines, numbers 1 to 26. There are also 3 funiculars, one on Petrin Hill, one on Marazovka Hill, and a third at the zoo in Troja. The Prague tram system now operates various types of trams, still popular classic Tatra T3, newer Tatra KT8 D5, T6 A5, Škoda 14T designed by Porsche, newest modern Škoda 15T and nostalgic tram lines 23 and 41. Around 400 vehicles are the modernized T3 class, which are typically operated coupled together in pairs. The Prague tram system is the 12th longest in the world 142 km, and its rolling stock consists of 857 individual cars, which is the third largest in the world behind Moscow and Budapest. The system carries more than 360 million passengers annually, the highest tram patronage in the world after Budapest. On a per capita basis, Prague has the second highest tram patronage after Zurich. All services metro, tramways, city buses, funiculars and ferries have a common ticketing system that operates on a proof of payment system. Basic transfer ticket can be bought for a 30 90th minute ride. Short term tourist passes are available for periods of 24 hours or 3 days. Longer term tickets can be bought on the smart ticketing system Litaka card for periods of 1 month, 3 months, or 1 year. Services are run by the Prague Public Transport Company. Prahi, A, S, and several other companies. Recently, the regional organizer of Prague Integrated Transport has franchised operation of ferries on the Vltava River, which are also a part of the public transport system with common fares. Taxi services make pickups on the streets or operate from regulated taxi stands. Prague Metro 
The metro has three major lines extending throughout the city, A green, B yellow, and C red. A fourth metro line is planned, which would connect the city centre to southern parts of the city. The Prague metro system served 589.2 million passengers in 2012, making it the fifth busiest metro system in Europe and the most patronised in the world on a per capita basis. The first section of the Prague metro was put into operation in 1974. It was the stretch between stations Kaysarov and Florink on the current line C. The first part of line A was opened in 1978 the first part of line B in 1985 In April 2015, construction finished to extend the green line A further into the northwest corner of Prague closer to the airport. A new interchange station for the bus in the direction of the airport is now the station Nadrazi Veloslavin. The final station of the Green Line is Nemochnis Modal Hospital, giving people direct public transportation access to the largest medical facility in the Czech Republic and one of the largest in Europe. A railway connection to the airport is planned. In operation there are currently two kinds of units, 81-71M, which is modernized variant of the Soviet Metrovagonmash 81-71 completely modernized between 1995 and 2003 and new Metro M1 trains since 2000, manufactured by consortium consisting of Siemens, Sikht Praha and Adtrans. The minimum interval between two trains is 90 seconds. The original Soviet vehicles, X were excluded in 1997, but one vehicle is placed in public transport museum in Depot Streshovice. The name Stimiru Metro Station is the deepest station and is equipped with the longest escalator in European Union. The Prague Metro is generally considered very safe. Roads <inaudible> 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 The main flow of traffic leads through the center of the city and through inner and outer ring roads partially in operation. Inner ring road, the city ring. Mo. Once completed it will surround the wider central part of the city. The longest city tunnel in Europe with a length of 5.5 kilometers, 3.4 miles and 5 interchanges has been completed to relieve congestion in the northwestern part of Prague. Called Blanca Tunnel Complex and part of the City Ring Road, it was estimated to eventually cost, after several increases 43 billion Czech Korunas. Construction started in 2007 and, after repeated delays, the tunnel was officially opened in September 2015. This tunnel complex completes a major part of the Inner Ring Road. It is expected that the whole City Ring will not be completed before 2020. Outer Ring Road the Prague Ring, D0. This ring road will connect all major motorways and speedways that meet each other in Prague region and provide faster transit without a necessity to drive through the city. So far 39 kilometers 24 miles out of a total planned 83 kilometers 52 miles is in operation. The year of full completion is unknown due to incompetent, constantly changing, leadership of Czech Road and Motorway Directorate, lack of administrative preparations, and insufficient funding of road constructions. Most recently, the southern part of this road with a length of more than 20 kilometers, 12 miles, was opened on the 22nd of September 2010. Topic: <inaudible> Rail. <inaudible> <inaudible> the city forms the hub of the Czech railway system with services to all parts of the country and abroad. The railway system links Prague with major European cities which can be reached without transfers, including Berlin, Munich, Hamburg, Nuremberg and Dresden Germany, Vienna, Graz and Linz Austria, Warsaw and Krakow Poland, Bratislava and Kosice Slovakia, Budapest Hungary, Zurich Switzerland, Split Croatia, Seasonal, Belgrade Serbia, Seasonal and Moscow Russia. Travel times range between 4.5 hours to Berlin and 27 hours to Moscow. Prague's main international railway station is Halavni Nadrazi. Rail services are also available from other main stations, Masarykovo Nadrazi, Holoshovice, and Smichov, in addition to suburban stations. Commuter rail services operate under the name Esko Praha, which is part of PID. Prague Integrated Transport. Air 
Prague is served by Václav Havel Airport Prague, the largest airport in the Czech Republic and one of the largest and busiest airports in Central and Eastern Europe. The airport is the hub of the flag carrier, Czech Airlines, as well as of the low-cost airline Smartwings and travel service operating throughout Europe. Other airports in Prague include the city's original airport in the northeastern district of K. Belai, which is serviced by the Czech Air Force, also internationally. It also houses the Prague Aviation Museum. The nearby Letnany Airport is mainly used for private aviation and aeroclub aviation. Another airport in the proximity is Aero Vatikoti Aircraft Factory to the north, used for testing purposes, as well as for aeroclub aviation. There are a few aeroclubs around Prague, such as the Takna Airfield. Cycling <inaudible> 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 In 2018, 2% 2 of people commute by bike in Prague, but cycling is very common as a sport or recreation. As of 2017, there were 178 kilometers, 111 miles of protected cycle paths and routes. Also, there were 48 kilometers, 30 miles of bike lanes and 24 kilometers, 15 miles of specially marked bus lanes that are free to be used by cyclists. Bike sharing is offered by a Czech company Ricola, which has 450 pink free-flowing bikes around Prague as of 2018. Since 2018, bike sharing is offered by transportation company Lime which operates 300 electric scooters in Prague as of 2018. Sport Prague is the site of many sports events, national stadiums and teams. International relations The city of Prague maintains its own EU delegation in Brussels called Prague House. Prague was the location of US President Barack Obama's speech on the 5th of April 2009, which led to the New START treaty with Russia, signed in Prague on the 8th of April 2010. The annual Conference Forum 2000, which was founded by former Czech President Václav Havel, Japanese philanthropist Yohei Sasakawa, and Nobel Peace Prize laureate Elie Wiesel in 1996, is held in Prague. Its main objective is to identify the key issues facing civilization and to explore ways to prevent the escalation of conflicts that have religion, culture or ethnicity as their primary components", and also intends to promote democracy in non-democratic countries and to support civil society. Conferences have attracted a number of prominent thinkers, Nobel laureates, former and acting politicians, business leaders and other individuals like, Frederick Willem de Klerk, Bill Clinton, Nicholas Winton, Oscar Arias Sanchez, Dalai Lama, Hans Kung, Shimon Peres and Madeleine Albright. <laughs> Twin towns Namesakes A number of other settlements are derived or similar to the name of Prague. In many of these cases, Czech emigration has left a number of namesake cities scattered over the globe, with a notable concentration in the New World. Additionally, Klodzko is traditionally referred to as Little Prague, German, Klein Prague. Although now in Poland, the city was the capital of the Bohemian Kraj of the county of Kladsko. See also Churches in Prague List of people from Prague Outline of the Czech Republic Outline of Prague